Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Jackson Memorial is being brought to you by Loro Chiropractic Center. The undefeated Howell Rebels welcome Jackson Memorial for a Shore Conference matchup. After a decision for the Rebels at 182 pounds, future Scarlet Knight Kyle Epperly runs Lino over with an armbar and gets the pin to give the Jags a 6-3 lead. Jackson would pick up a decision at 220 to lead 9-3. But the Rebels would secure a fall of their own at heavyweight as Justin Wright works the half straight over to his back and ties the match at nine. The Jags would retake the lead with a close 4-3 win by Brett Blaze at 106. But the Rebels would bounce back here at 113 as Colin Bradshaw reverses Lapari straight to his back, sinks in the double boots, scoops the head, and is looking for the fall. He continues to secure his grip tighten his hold, he elevates a leg and gets a pin. Rebels go up 15 to 12. Howell would win the next three matches in a row, capped off with a pin by James McGee here at 132 pounds. As he sits through the back door, turns toward the head of the bid, gets his leg free, gathers up the arms and finds the pin for the Rebels. He's fired up and Howell takes a 28 to 12 lead. Two matches later, the Rebels found another set of bonus points as Nick Akew goes to the cement mixer to get Hammond on his back. He's got that arm sunk deep across his back, continues to adjust his grip, elevates the head to get those shoulders to drop, and Akew gets the pin. Rebels go up 34 to 16 match of the night and Shane Reitzma went to work quickly. He gets in on a nice high crotch, secures the hip underneath and right away goes to the bottom leg cradle. He's got Smith locked up tight, works him over to his back, gets his tripod planted and finishes off the win with a pin for the Rebels. Howell wins over Jackson. Final score 43 to 19. Powered by five pins for the Rebels. They remain undefeated and move to 4-0 in the Shore Conference. In Howell, for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Kenneth Bradley.